Peter. Did you finally get the old man to talk? Well, kind of. I have a meeting soon. You should come over after. All right, I'll be on my way. Terrifying ordeal. ABC's Lena Nyman has that story. Peter? Peter? This unprecedented glimpse of what it's like for firefighters to run into a burning building. No pulse. In other news, Mayor Top rose to the podium in front of the city's courthouse to debunk the recent claims from critics. The accusations focus mainly on Top's stance on food regulations claiming that he seems to be against any regulation at all. Mayor Top counteracted these claims, stating that there are plenty more matters in the city. What happened to you, Peter? ...children, helmet cam capturing the terrifying ordeal. ABC's Rena Nynan has that story. No sleep tonight. Not even a desperate daydream to numb the pain. Who did you piss off this time? For the last time. Peter was a good man. Not someone you'd heard out of spite. There is more to this than an argument gone wrong. So, you got too close to the mayor. Hmm. I was expecting a few angry emails and a harsh handshake, but not murder. So the search was on. Minutes turned to hours, and hours turned to days. And everywhere I looked, I saw only rot. But through the pieces I gathered, I found my way to one person who was linked to it all. You were difficult to find. Better make it oh, worth it. Easy, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Torb! Where does he go when no one's looking? Okay, okay, all I know is he's going to a meeting at midnight at the old factory. It would be a shame to leave this lying around. I've already proven dangerous. May as well be armed. Come to Stibbon Street 14 tonight if you want to know the truth. X. X, huh? That's a cliche. Let's keep coming in of people dying mysteriously and with seemingly no cause. The only link between the cases appears to be the presence of fruit. But forensics insist that no poison was in use. In other news, Mayor Torp has once again spoken out against the lack of toast in modern...
<coughs> uh, hey, uh, dude, wait. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. X. Of course. The first sign of a helpful soul, and they're off like a shadow at dawn. Guess it couldn't hurt to have a look. Notes were a bit scientific, but this much I understood. All the fruit in the city had been altered. Its acidic properties had been modified to extreme potency, enough to kill a person upon ingestion. Simply being a person makes you dangerous, but holding a weapon means you're dangerous on purpose. I'm not sure I'm the good guy anymore, but neither is Mayor Torp. Well, Tor, you've manipulated the city council, misdirected the police, and fought back anyone questioning the food regulation bills, ensuring our influence. You shall be generously rewarded. Thank you, sir. It's been an honor to follow your plan. I guess I should thank you. I was afraid wiping out all of humanity would be boring. That you would all simply eat the poisoned fruit, then keel over and die obediently. Between Torp halting all food regulation and bribing the police to keep the first death secret, no one would have known. But you two shook things up. First, your friend Peter tried to expose us. Then you come along to test my mind-controlled guards. So that's how you did it. But you see, no one can stop my evil plan from growing. Soon, my poison fruits will export worldwide, and there will be no more humans left to speak of. Speaking of which, what should I force feed you, eh? An apple? Maybe an entire orange? I'll take a banana. Bruised, not peeled. <laughs> On second thought, I think I'll grab a slice. 
of pineapple. Why, you little... How dare you? The recent wave of unexplainable deaths in the city have come to an end. It is currently unknown what originally caused it, but officials have begun referring to it as a biochemical attack. This is based on a recent police nice work. X. An anonymous tip. In other news, the mayor has stepped down from his position due to massive allegations of corruption and several different claims regarding his involvement. <laughs> Come on, dude. He's going to a meeting at midnight at those factory. When? Midnight. This way. Where the fuck you been, John? You for sure about me. Did you bring the milk, sir? I can't. I can't. Do I feel like I'm seeing fun you? Mayor Talk counteracted these claims, stating that there are plenty more matters in the city to discuss. Oh, whatever. <laughs>